LSU is also looking at tastier avenues of research. Soft shell crab production is pretty involved because you have to keep track of the crabs throughout their molting process. Decreasing crab populations are another obstacle threatening the industry, but demand remains strong. Craig Gotro shows us how just how hard it is to raise this seafood favorite. So you can't pull that He's trying to make this cloth. Daniel Edgar has been producing soft shell crabs for more than 30 years. He says there are many factors involved in producing the perfect soft shell, but one of the most important is having a system that can maintain good water quality. The greatest challenge is when you add more crabs to the system, you're going to raise your ammonia level, raise your nitrite level. That is the absolute challenge for doing soft shell crabs. Decreasing crab populations is another hurdle. Julie Lively, a researcher with the LSU Ag Center's School of Renewable Natural Resources, is examining a virus specific to blue crabs. This virus has nearly a 100% mortality rate and could explain some of the die-offs in soft shell facilities. So we're trying to understand if this virus is actually a major problem for the soft shell industry and if we can identify what is causing the problem to maybe help give best management recommendations to solve it. Soft shell crabs are considered a delicacy by humans and are preferred by many species of fish. During the molting process, they are virtually defenseless against predators. You've got redfish and drum that eat the hard crabs and jack crevels, they eat hard crabs. But soft shells, everything out there eats a soft shell. Another issue with raising soft shell crabs is they must be monitored around the clock and removed at just the right time. That's one of the problems with soft shell is that people have to check their systems almost every four or five hours at least to make sure that they aren't starting to harden in the water. If producers like Edgar are successful in producing the right soft shell, they have no problem selling them on the market because demand exceeds supply. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting. Louisiana has seen its number of soft shell producers drop from around 250 to less than 50 producers in the past 15 years. Still to come on Twyla. Halloween on the farm and online. Trending on Twyla is up next. Stay with us.